So we'll take a little walk in the garden and see what's happening. Down to the greenhouse, look at the tomatoes and the cucumbers and the basil. I'm afraid the potatoes haven't done so well this year. It's been much, much too hot and dry for them. So let's have a little walk around and see what's going on in the garden. Well, one plant that's loving it, the banana plant, doing very, very well. It needs a lot of water every day, at least 10 litres of water, but it's liking this hot weather. And it's quite s strange to see a banana bush and an oak tree growing together. As you can see, the tomatoes are doing very well indeed. Seems a shame to pick them, really, they look so beautiful. As you can see, by the size of my hand, they're a fair old size. Don't get many of those to the pound, missus. Lovely beefsteak tomatoes. And delightful salad with a bit of Roquefort cheese. And as you can see, the uh, tomatoes are doing very, very well and I'm quite pleased with them this year. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, look at this. It's all dry. And then we have the courgettes. Straight giving out courgettes like nobody's business. And look around there. Looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Well, it's not a good light at the moment. And this is the some kind of a melon, some kind of Asiatic melon, which is taking a little course along there and finding its way. Making its way at the greenhouse, even. What does he think he's doing? And there, next to the melons, climbing up the frame, you can see more Japanese cucumbers. Doing very, 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 very well indeed. And if you look down there, that's a, a Thailandish melon. <laughs> a Thai melon. Never heard of it before. Well, let's have a look at it. It just looks like a common watermelon to me. Um, Kapuzi in Greek. Looks like a Greek watermelon. Maybe it is. Who knows? We'll have to see. I'm not that keen on watermelons really. Tastes like old water to me. Sweet. Not my thing. Well let's take a look in the greenhouse now and see how things are doing in there. It's been quite hot this year in the greenhouse and well let's have a look and see how it's doing. As you see we can hardly get in the door. It's so overgrown in there. Let's go in and see what's happening in the greenhouse. So by the door we have cucumbers growing. Beautiful Japanese cucumbers. Look at the size of that. Big, big giant things. Mm, quite different to normal cucumbers. They're very crunchy and very sharp. Lots of stackles and sharp things to... You could use as a beautiful back scratcher as well. Well they're growing like crazy. And further along we've got what we thought were Japanese peppers but they are not. Yeah, some kind of pepper, but we don't know what. Jalapeno, perhaps. I think I put the wrong seeds in. I don't know. On the other side, oh, I think we grew a little bit too much basil this year. Basil everywhere, but I tell you, I wish you could smell it in here. It smells beautiful. And there she is. Tomatoes there. Oh, from alone, I didn't sow them. They came from seeds in the ground and they're growing wonderfully. Look at these here too. Say so you need skill to be a gardener, but not really. It just all itself. They all came up alone. I didn't do anything. Seeds from last year reproducing themselves. Doing well. Thank you very much. And then in the background Another cucumber of the Japanese sort, climbing up to the roof even. And there at the back we have more plum tomatoes, Italian plum tomatoes. So as you can see everything's doing very well and we're having plenty of salad, lots of vitamins from the greenhouse.
Well, it looks like there's a bit of a storm coming along now. A pair of dark clouds and a bit of thunder. So I hope it does, because I haven't had rain for so long. I need rain, desperately. My tank is empty. It needs filling. Yes, I think it's going to rain. I hope so. Well, have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed my little visit to the garden today. Bye-bye.